that is a shower. That's where let's call it as it is. Most women are, are involved in it unconsciously without even realizing that they are involved in a showerism. For me, that is the word socialization. How are women and men groomed from childhood? You see. We've said it over and over again, even right on this platform. Women, from the day you are born, you are being groomed to being a good wife some way. And they tell you that a man provides. Just be a good woman and a man will provide. You see. So women grow up with that mentality depending on men, even if they have their own money. Mm -hmm. Men, on the other hand, are being groomed to live their life whatsoever, but they tell you, you have to provide for your woman. Mm -hmm. So men also knows that they have to provide for the women. For example, there is, I have a, f a couple of friends from this particular tribe in Nigeria. Can I mention the tribe? I don't yes. want to create any, no, st okay. any stereotype. My Igbo friends, for example, my Igbo <laughs> friends, for example, if you, if they always say, ah, uh, I never marry, I never marry. I say, but why you never marry now? If you want marry, go marry now. Why you never marry? You know, you know what they always say? All of them, 100% of them, not 99% of them. I, I, I know if you marry now, I never get money. You see, I never get money. That is why I never marry, because I never get money. So, which means that to have a woman in your life, you need money. Nigerian even some of even some of them you ask the, the men as well but uh I, I they'll be complaining i need a girlfriend i need a girlfriend no, but get a girlfriend there are many women around but i know get money now i go money won't get babe and i know get money so you see that don't you think that so, you think that the kind of woman that they are not so you might hear some men saying that they they never marry because they not get money maybe the bright price like we did bright price video last year but some people they might want to be dating above their pay grade. So they think that they must have this kind of financial means to be able to fund this woman for her to agree to come and date them. What do you think? What do you think? Okay, the issue is this. The entitlement mentality goes, it, it cuts across every class of women. Mm -hmm. So every class of women, they expect a man to do something. Remember what I said before, even if she has her own money, she still expects from you. Mm -hmm. So whether this woman is a village woman or whether this woman is a president of Nigeria, they depend for a man to do for them, even if they, even if they are fine. So it cuts across tribe uh, 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 and social class. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it cuts. So every so so every woman depends on a man to do something and. It goes now to say, okay, that's why I said when the, when the show started that the title should be The Evolution of Ashawu. Ashawu has evolved. Amen. For example, I'm going to be the set for that kind of title for you too. <laughs> the Evolution of Ashawu. <laughs> <laughs> for example, the second story of a transport fair, right? When the guy gave the lady uh, uh, 200 naira, isn't it? Is it the second, mm. the second story? Uh -huh. The lady went to see this guy, and the, and the lady expected more from the visitation, isn't it? Mm. What is wrong if I give you your exact transport that will take you to your place? What's wrong in that? Why, 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 why do you need uh, more money because you visited me, whether they did carry one or they didn't? Who knows? But if, if, you, if you visit a man and you expect money in return, that is a shower. That's where, let's call it as it is. <laughs> you see, even the one with a car, I cannot date a man with this one now because I cannot date a man. All these lake queens, I cannot date a man. He went to buy a seven million naira car. Uh, uh, do you know the kind of cars I've entered? It's about money. It's about being with a man for money. And if you are with a man for money, it is transactional. And that is what I call the P word, the ashawo. That is what it is. So let's put it to the ground level. I, I am not shy to say it as it, as it is. So many women are involved in Ashawoism without even realizing that they have Ashawo tendencies. So Ashawoism is not when it, it has evolved. They don't stand on the, on the street poles 
any, any longer. They are everywhere. Most women are, are involved in it unconsciously without even realizing that they are involved in Ashawism. <laughs> okay, okay. So I have a question. Since your background is still echoing, so sometimes I have to mute, mute to ask yeah, the question, ask right? The question. Um, Jay, we'll add you soon, okay? Now, the men <laughs> who are contributing to this Ashawism, Ashawism. are they Ashawistas? <laughs> Are they going to be a showerstas? Because they're funny, and because I also read because, somewhere on social media where a girl was kind of bullying a guy. It was via WhatsApp. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not your 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 boyfriend. Not a bill me. Yeah. So it's insinuating that if I was your boyfriend, I would be responsible for, for your, all those bills. Your bills. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, remember the word I used when I started that it is socialization. The men also are enabling this, this, this. This this behavior unconsciously because that is how they were they, they were groomed to provide for women. Mm. So what's yeah, they are, they 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 are, they are groomed that way. So so that's why even some men, if if a woman wants to visit them, oh they'll be say oh don't come or oh, don't come or oh, that be won't come and not even get money. You know because they they know that if the lady comes when the by the time she's leaving, you will give her money. You're paying her indirectly. Hey, go, sir. Somebody hey, go, sir. has come Somebody to attack me. I'm going to meet in a minute. So, the Marcus, welcome. The Marcus is saying a woman can have some of my money as long as I get my love. That's fair. That's fair. Now, wow. Now, wow. No, I disagree. That is a shower. That's where let's call it as it is. <laughs> 